hi everyone and welcome so this one will be the most awaited video for few of my subscriber so they want to integrate the luckfox pico ultra w with the touch screen so this is what we are going to cover in this video so here i have 720 pixel by 720 pixel touch screen display from the luckfox and here i have luckfox pico ultra w and i have a flash build root operating system inside the luckfox pico ultra w okay and we are going to run the demo lvgl program in our luckfox pico ultra w which we can see on the screen so now let's see how you can do that so first of all as we know that we have flash build root operating system inside this we have to log into the ssh terminal of our luckfox pico ultra w so i'm going to open the command prompt here now we know that we have flash build root operating system so we can use this command to log into the ssh terminal of our luckfox pico ultra w and uh, we have to clear the ssh entries okay we have to type yes and here is the password luckfox now here you can see we are inside the terminal of our luckfox pico ultra w with build root operating system now here you can see uh, before powering on this device i have connected our luckfox pico ultra w with this touch screen okay and if you want to understand that how to connect then you can visit the documentation page so if you scroll down on this page then they have mentioned that this blue ribbon should be outside okay and this blue ribbon again should be outside so here you can see i have connected in the same fashion so this blue is on the top side and blue is on the outside so this is how you have to make the connection between your luckfox pico ultra w and your touch screen now i have 720 pixel by 720 pixel of touch screen okay maybe you have 480 by 480 okay that is fine but you have to connect in the same fashion now uh, we have already connected the display now how to getting start so if you are using ubuntu operating system then both of the display are supported if you are using build root operating system then again both of the display are supported but for the ubuntu operating system you have to install these packages but for the build root those are pre-installed so as we know that we are running with the build root operating system so we don't have to install any of these packages okay now we know that we have already connected the display so what we can do is we can run this mode test command so you can copy this mode test command and you can directly run in the terminal of your luckfox pico ultra w now this is how you will get the result okay now here you can see we are interested in the two things connectors id okay and if you scroll down then here is another thing crtcs id now crtcs id is 66 and the connectors id is 70 okay which will be the common for you as well if you have 720 by 720 pixel of display now here you can see they have also the same connector id and same crtcs id so it is also same for us as well now we want to check our display that it is working or not so for 480 by 480 pixel of display you can use this command and for 720 by 720 pixel of display you can use this command so you can copy this command okay and you can you know, run that command here let me copy again okay paste it and hit enter now once you hit enter we are able to test our display that our display is working absolutely fine okay now we are ready to run the lvgl program but before that we have to change few settings in the luckfox config menu so you can press ctrl c here then you can again go to the uh, you know wiki page of the luckfox pico ultra w you can scroll down and here you can download the luckfox lvgl demo program i have already downloaded this one and it is available on my desktop luckfox lvgl demo we are going to copy this file to our luckfox pico ultra w using scp command okay so here is the wiki page i am going to copy this scp command to copy the luckfox lvgl demo file to my luckfox pico ultra w so i have to open the new command prompt here i have to navigate to the desktop and here on my desktop you can see i have this file so i can copy this command 
I can update the command okay now here I have to update the IP address because we are connected with the Luxfox Pico Ultra W over USB C interface so I have to change the IP address okay to USB C interface and the IP address is this one okay so I have to copy this I have to paste that here and then I have to hit enter it will ask me password of the Luxfox Pico Ultra W here I have to provide Luxfox as a password and here you can see our file is copied to our Luxfox Pico Ultra W root folder now I can go to my terminal of Luxfox Pico Ultra W I can type ls and here you can see we have the file Luxfox LVGL demo now we can use this file to run the demo LVGL example but before that we have to enable the touch screen if you directly run this uh, Luxfox LVGL demo command then you won't be able to provide your touch input from this display so you have to enable the touch screen first so for that you have to run Luxfox config command so Luxfox config okay you have to copy this you have to paste that here and then you have to hit enter after that you have to select advanced options you have to go to the eighth option which is touch screen and you have to enable the touch screen and you have to select i2c underscore address 0 cross 14 okay i'm going to hit enter and that's it now we can press escape again escape and we are into the terminal so that is fine now here you can also download the lvgl example from the github but we have already downloaded and we have already copied okay on our terminal so here you can see it is already available here so we are going to make this executable so here is a command to make that executable okay so you can copy this command to make this file executable it is now executable now you can copy this command to run that LVGL demo example so I'm going to open this two things parallelly I'm going to hit enter okay and here you can see we have the time okay and we have the LVGL demo running now you can click on Wi-Fi okay our touch is not working okay so let us again run that Luxfox config command uh, we have done everything correctly so again copy this command paste it here advanced option touch screen enable ok escape escape and again we can run our demo example ok it is still not running let me reboot it okay reboot is done i am going to log into the terminal again and uh, we are inside the terminal okay we have the luckfox lvgl demo file now i am going to run that luckfox lvgl demo file again okay the touch is still not working so okay so we have again run the lvgl demo example i can click on wi-fi and here you go we are uh, able to touch it and right now uh, we are not connected with the any wi-fi network so it is blank as of now i can go back now i can click on the pad and i can draw something here you can also change the color from here okay and you can again draw something here you can clear everything from here you can go back you can play the music but uh, i don't have any music as of now now you can click on the GIF and this GIF will play. Now you can touch it to go back. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll connect this with the Wi-Fi. So for that, I am going to uh, cancel this operation. And here on our GitHub repository, I have one script folder in which I have set up Wi-Fi.sh script. So I'm going to copy the name. Okay. Na copy the name. Nano setup wifi.sh and i'm going to copy the content of this uh, script i'll paste it here i'll change the ssid and password now i can press ctrl x y enter now i can run the 
setupwifi.ss script so bash setupwifi.sh okay and we are connected with the wi-fi and here you can see the ip address of my luckfox pico ultra w now i can click on wi-fi okay we cannot click because our lvgl program is not running we have to run it okay it is running and we have already uh, you know patch the date from the internet now i can click on wi-fi and here you can see capgemini 4g the wi-fi is connected and here is the password okay if you have any other wi-fi uh, around you then you will be able to find that wi-fi here okay so this is how you can integrate the touchscreen display with luckfox pico ultra w okay now if i press ctrl c then I won't be able to access anything. So I have to continuously uh, run this example to access the LVGL program on my screen. Okay, now let's recap everything. So first of all, you have to flash build root operating system on your Luckfox Pico Ultra W. Once you flash the build root operating system, you have to turn your device off. You have to connect the display with Luckfox Pico Ultra W. After that, uh, you have to navigate to the wiki page of Luckfox Pico Ultra W and you have to uh, run this command mode test. Now once you run this command mode test you will be having two results connector ID and the CRTC SID. So we are going to use those two ID to uh, test our display just like this using this command. Now this one is the connector ID okay 70 is the connector ID here you can see and 66 is the CRTC ID, which you can use here. If you have some other ID, then you can modify this, uh, you know, command as per that. Now, once you test it, and once it is successfully tested, you can move ahead and you can download this uh, Luckfox LVGL demo example. Just click here and it will be downloaded in your system. Okay, you can move to your desktop and then after you can, you know, open another command prompt and uh, you can use this scp command to copy that luckfox lvgl demo file to your luckfox pico ultra w using ip address okay now once you copy that luckfox lvgl demo file you can run the luckfox config command once you run the luckfox config command you have to uh, go to the advanced option okay let me show you that again so yeah, once you run the luckfox config command you have to go to the advanced option and here you have to go to the last option which is touch screen and you have to enable it okay and you have to select the address uh, 0 cross 14 okay i2c address 0 cross 14 once you select it okay you have to uh, you know save that so enable i2c address 0 cross 14 and you will see something okay and then you will see the compatible devices list again now you can click on escape and you can cancel everything and then after make sure you have uh, made the connection just like this make sure the blue uh, ribbon is outside here and again it is on the top side then after you can run this command to make that uh, luckfox lvgl demo file executable and once it is executable you can run it and once you run it you will see something like this okay and uh, here you can see we are already able to see something like that and we are able to access everything okay luckfox lvgl demo and here you can see it will update the time okay and it will play the gif as well and uh, it will play the music as well okay to play the music you have to you know uh, i'm sorry yeah to play the music you have to connect the speaker as well and you have to create music folder okay so uh, let us create the music folder and let us move some music so i'm going to press ctrl c here now here uh, is a command prompt which we have used to copy the luckfox lvgl demo file to our luckfox pico ultra w now i'm going to use the same command to copy the music on my luckfox pico ultra w so song.mp3 and uh, I'm going to copy that in the music folder. Okay, there is no file music, so music. Okay, now we'll run that command. Okay, we have successfully copied that. Now ls 
music and we have song.mp3 now we can uh, run our lvgl example okay now here you can see i can click on the music and this will open now i can play the music using this button okay i have to connect the speaker to play the music or to listen the music and here you can click to list out all the available songs inside the music folder and if you want to go back then here is the button to go back okay so i hope everything is clear the end-to-end -end process is clear and if you still have any question or any confusion then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere also i'll try to cover the same thing for the ubuntu operating system okay so let's meet in the future videos uh, till then i'll learn how to perform the same thing in the ubuntu operating system as well as we'll learn that how we can run our custom lvgl code in the luckfox pico ultra w so stay tuned for the future videos till then take care goodbye and thank you